Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Long-term care insurance covers the cost of long-term health care needs for you, your family, and your employees. Unlike regular health insurance, long-term care insurance covers the cost of living during a prolonged illness such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. If you or a family member suddenly became unable to care for yourself and required assistance to perform activities such as dressing, bathing, and feeding yourself, Long-term care insurance would cover the cost of an assisted living facility, an at-home nurse, adult day care, or hospice care. While many physicians think of long-term care insurance as a future investment, the fact is that some 40% of long-term care insurance policies in the United States are purchased and used by adults between the ages of 18 and 64. Policies are available as tax-qualified and non-tax-qualified plans and may provide different tax incentives based on the type of care needed. Premiums are lowest when a long-term care insurance plan is purchased early before retirement age. Adding a long-term care option to your employee benefits plan will set your practice apart and help you attract top talent. It will also protect you and your family in the case of an unexpected long-term illness. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. As a self-employed medical entrepreneur, it's your responsibility to plan for your financial future. This means setting up retirement accounts as soon as you open your practice, as well as investigating your estate planning options. As an independent contractor, you have more retirement contribution options than a regular employee. Popular retirement plans for physicians include individual 401ks, cash balance plans, profit sharing plans, and SEP IRAs. Each of these plans limits the amount of your annual contributions based on your income and in some cases your age. Many retirement plans offer tax-free contributions that lower the amount of taxable income you owe each year. Once you have set up your retirement accounts, the next step is estate planning. A living trust or will protects your assets in the event of your passing and allocates those assets to your family or others of your choice. Make sure to keep all beneficiaries and documents up to date and that your spouse or another family member knows where your will is kept. Retirement and estate planning is crucial to your personal financial health and the financial health of your medical practice. Consult your financial planner to see which plans may be right for you. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. As a medical professional, estate planning is an important part of protecting your assets, but many physicians delay estate planning until it's too late, focusing instead on investments, taxes, and other more pressing financial matters. Having an estate plan in place is not just important after you retire, it's key to ensuring your assets are distributed in a way of your choosing should something unexpectedly happen to you. Create a living will and trust with the help of a financial advisor or attorney. Be sure to specify asset allocation for your family members and clarify your wishes for your personal property, bank accounts, retirement accounts, and your home. Keep your living will and trust updated by reviewing it at least once per year. Outdated documents could create strife for family members in the sudden event of your passing. Make sure beneficiary names are up to date on all documents including your investment accounts and insurance policies. Finally, make sure others have a way to access your documents in the event of your passing. Leave instructions for your spouse or other family members as to the whereabouts of your estate plans or assign power of attorney to an advisor you trust. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Retirement planning is different for physicians than it is for any other type of professional. Because of extended educational periods, physicians' careers tend to start later, leaving less time to save for retirement. 
Physicians also tend to be more health conscious than the average person, leading to longer life expectancies. When taken together, these two factors create a much longer time period in which retirement savings must cover cost of living expenses. Stocks and bonds may supplement your retirement income, so work with a financial advisor to choose wise investments that become profitable over time. Consider retiring and claiming Social Security benefits later than the recommended age. Doing so will increase the amount of your monthly payouts. Compare the benefits of a 401k to a Roth IRA and see which option makes the most sense for you and your practice. For many physicians, standard retirement savings plans simply aren't enough. Consider saving an additional 10 to 15% of your income in a taxable account so that it's easier to maintain your lifestyle after you've retired. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Asset protection is a key area of financial planning often overlooked by many physicians. Not only do you need to protect your practice against malpractice lawsuits, but also against losses due to bad investments and taxes. Begin with a good malpractice insurance. Your policy should include claims-based coverage and insurance-based coverage. You may also need to add tail coverage to ensure you're protected after the policy ends. Next, add an umbrella insurance policy that will protect your personal assets. It's possible to get up to $5 million of coverage for just a few hundred dollars. Protect your liquid assets in retirement accounts such as a 401k or Roth IRA. Offering retirement plans to your employees as well will help you maintain top talent in your practice. This is yet another way to protect your assets. You may also want to diversify your assets in order to protect yourself from lawsuits. A skilled tax attorney can help you set up various LLCs and FLPs for the purpose of protecting your home, taxable savings accounts, and other property. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Life insurance is not just one more expense to add to the many expenses of running your own medical practice. It's also not just a way to protect your family in the event of your passing. Instead, life insurance has recently become a financially sound way to protect your assets. In other words, life insurance can and should be an investment, not just another monthly expense. Many physicians have assets that are vulnerable and unprotected in CDs, bonds, and savings accounts. These assets are creditor exposed and are at risk of being lost at any time due to various liabilities. A life insurance policy, on the other hand, can serve as a creditor protected form of liquidity. Unlike traditional life insurance policies, there are now new policies that allow you to keep your assets both liquid and available should you need them in an emergency. Ask your financial advisor about a life insurance policy that has a high death benefit multiplier, provides tax-free growth, is creditor protected, and keeps your assets 100% liquid. Keep in mind that not all insurance companies offer this type of life insurance plan, so look for an experienced insurance expert who regularly works with top physicians and medical professionals like you. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Medical practice legacy planning is the process of arranging and accounting for the numerous details that will need to be taken care of in the event of your death as a physician. As a doctor in private practice, your passing impacts more than just your family and friends. Each and every one of the patients you care for, plus your partners, colleagues, and staff will be heavily impacted by your death. Because of this, it's important to engage in legacy planning when first opening your practice. Legacy planning includes making a detailed contact list of those who will need to be notified of your passing, including patients, attorneys, accountants, pharmacies, insurers, colleagues, and the DEA. Creating a list of referrals for your current patients, especially if you're in solo practice. Arranging coverage for hospitalized patients. Arranging for recent dictation records to be added to patients' medical files. Providing patients easy access to their medical records. Designating an employee to take care of records requests, accounts receivable, and equipment disposal. 
and arranging to sell your solo practice in the event of your death. There are many details to consider with practice legacy planning, but the physicians who make it a priority are sure to leave a caring, conscientious legacy for their friends, families, and patients. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Practice succession planning is needed whenever a physician, whether it's you, a partner, or a colleague, decides to leave your medical practice. The departing physician may be seeking a lifestyle change, retiring, or switching careers altogether. Whatever the case, succession planning will make the transition smooth and painless. The time to begin succession planning is during the hiring process or when you first open your practice. Whether you're partnering with other physicians or hiring other physicians, it is crucial to include an exit strategy in your initial employment agreement. Include terms for dissolution in the original employment contract. Areas you might want to cover include the amount of notice that needs to be given before departing the practice, how stocks and other investments will be divided, terms of separation, and a non-competition clause to prevent the person leaving from soliciting your practice staff. Discuss these and other relevant issues at the beginning of the employee-employer relationship when spirits are high and the channels of communication are open. That way, if a physician leaves your practice because they are unhappy, there will be clearly laid out terms that both parties have already agreed to, helping you avoid confusion, conflict, and lawsuits. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. The right college savings account will not only help you finance your child's education, it will serve as an enticing benefit for your medical practice employees. While there are many different types of college savings plans available today, a 529 plan is the go-to choice for many parents and practice owners in the medical profession. A 529 plan is a tax-advantageous way to save money for the education of the beneficiary of your choice, usually your child. Offering this plan to your employees helps them save for their children's education and allows you, as their employer, to contribute to those savings and earn tax incentives. 529 plans are offered on a per-state basis. Some states even offer grants and scholarships based on your 529 investment. There are two different options for starting a 529 plan for your beneficiary. The first is a prepaid plan which allows you to purchase college credits at the current market rate and save them for the future. The second is a savings plan that relies on mutual funds to determine how much money can be saved in the allotted time period. Both types of plans are tax exempt for the investor. Choosing the right college savings plan is important to the financial health of your family and your medical practice. Be sure to consult your financial planner to see which 529 options are available in your state. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the doctorsbusinessnetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.